Hey everyone, this is Nathaniel Ruffle Jance, and uh, as I said in my video earlier today, I wanted to do an update video, uh, just one, uh, because I, I update you guys through live streams on the Discord server, sometimes on Twitter about what's going on with my life, uh, what's going on with my health. Uh, you guys know I announced, oh God, what was it, five, six weeks ago uh, that I had a heart attack. Um, I announced um you know so some relationship complications on twitter and uh i, I just kind of want to address everything uh that's been going on uh since then uh before then what what, what what the path forward is now uh and do this in a proper video format instead of relying on a live stream where only so many people are going to see it uh they're not always live after the fact and all that and sometimes there's some drama that ensues on those streams because of uh, some situations going on in my life. So I, I just want to bring everything to a forefront now. One, um, yes, I suffered a heart attack, multiple heart attacks. Um, and my health uh, is doing pretty good today, but on a day-to-day -day basis, I never know how I'm going to feel, how I'm doing. Uh, some days are better than others. Other days are worse than others. I am currently on uh, doctor's orders that I cannot be working manual labor, which cuts out like 90% of the jobs in my area. Um, and even in terms of just sitting here at this chair talking to you guys, I can only do that for so many hours a day because I need to get up and be active, but then I can't be too active. It's really strange. I'm kind of in this midway point where I don't want my heart to go too fast, but I also don't want it to be at rest for too long. Uh, so it makes it very difficult to get a job of any sort right now. No, I don't qualify for disability or any of that because qualifying for disability means you you have to have the inability to work any job, uh, at least based on when I applied for it. They asked all, all these pointed questions. I talked to all these agents. And basically because I have the ability to technically work a little bit, I don't qualify for disability. And, that, and that's okay. I mean, I don't really feel like I'm a disabled person. Does that make sense? It's not like I can't walk. I can't talk. Uh, and if you can walk and talk, you can work. It just I just can't work uh, like I was before. I was doing roofing. Uh, and there's, uh, I actually did roofing one time since, and that was a mistake, uh, just to pay some bills. And, uh, it, it's been a rough journey, um, getting back to some semblance of normalcy. This video and the video that you actually saw before this is, is me getting back to some semblance of normalcy. I do make money on YouTube guys. Like this is technically a quote unquote job. Uh, I file taxes on it. I pay taxes on it. So like, it's a job, you know, and YouTube uh, and Google chooses to run ads on my stuff and I'm able to make a, a little bit of money off of it. Sometimes it's a lot of money. Sometimes it's a little bit. I don't really control that uh, as viewership fluctuates video to video and month to month. But uh, it, this is something I am able to do and will continue to do. I'm passionate about YouTube. Uh, I enjoy making video content. I enjoy uh, a lot of things about about this aspect of content creation and talking about video games and, and having these discussions. Now, surrounding all of this, there, there's obviously been some other things going on. Um, the, the heart attack and everything has been hard on my relationship uh, with my fiance. It's uh, it, it led to some trying times um, because I've always been the rock under which my whole family relies upon, and suddenly I couldn't be that. I couldn't be the one bearing all the financial burden. I couldn't be the one um, being there all the time for my kids and my fiance for every little thing because I needed them. Uh, and I'm happy to announce, uh, that as of today, um, well, not really as of today, this is, I've, I've actually known for a little bit now, but I'm happy to announce that me and my fiance are going to be getting married finally. Uh, it's not just that I asked her to marry me seven years ago now. Um, we're actually going to be getting married next year. Uh, everything's been put in motion. Uh, we are going to be getting married uh, at my church. I'm a practicing, well, semi-practicing Roman Catholic. Uh, I contacted the priest today to set up our first um, marriage session. I don't know. It's like six to nine months of stuff you go through where the church is preparing uh, me and her for marriage. Uh, and then we will be getting married. I don't know if I should tell you to save the date yet. <laughs> uh, we're targeting August 21st, but we have to check with the church and make sure it's available. And then obviously work out where we're going to do a reception and all that. And there's a whole bunch of stuff. Like we're in the, the very early, very beginning stages. Not even everyone in my life knows uh, about this yet because me and my fiance are going to be getting some engagement photos done and that's how we want to bring it to the entire family is we want to be like hey look here like we're like we're serious you know we know we've been engaged for seven years but like this is it we're doing it we're, we're, we're making the final steps towards that uh and so 
in some ways, all of this has made me and my family and my fiance grow even closer together despite some of the strife that was early on uh, with all of this. So um, that's the great positive news to come out of all of it is that um, as I have focused more on my family, my family is focusing more on me. And uh, we are taking that next step in our great adventure together, uh, raising our three beautiful children. Um, and who knows, you might see my fiance more on some streams in the future, uh, stuff like that. Uh, and man, I can't wait to call her my wife. It's going to be great. Um, we're actually working on getting the engagement ring, rings fixed. And we're going to be doing something uh, a little sh a little different. Uh, you might notice in some videos in a few weeks that um, I'm wearing a ring. <laughs> um, it doesn't mean that I'm married, uh, but we're going to be going non-traditional uh, with the engagement rings. Uh, so she already has one, uh, and what it's going to be is she's going to wear her engagement ring, and I'm going to wear what would be the wedding band ring. Uh, I'm going to wear it as an engagement ring. Uh, we're going non-traditional that way because she uh, she wants the world to know that uh, I am hers, and <laughs> she wants that to know now. Like if we had the if we if it was up to us, we would just get married right now. But we don't want you know we want to do it proper and make our families happy and and, and do the right thing uh, by my religion and all that. So uh, yeah, so you might see see a ring in the future. It just means I'm engaged. It doesn't mean I'm married. When it goes to the other hand, that will mean that that I'm married. But you'll we'll we'll talk about that more in the future. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. Now this is uh, where I've been getting you know the, so far in this is really criticism. It's just hey look I had some health problems. Can't do normal work. Not, I'm not so unhealthy that I qualify for disability, but I still can't really work normal eight hour shifts and can't do this. I can't even do Walmart greeter, blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. That's all neither here nor there. Um, what's some of the controversy, I guess, that's come up? Because that's just health problems. And hey, look, you're getting married. Cool. Um, I have, uh, I've done a few live streams. And on these live streams, I have mentioned uh, that you're able to donate to me if you would like. Uh, I have donation links in the description. Heck, I'll put donation links in the description of this video as well if people are interested. Uh, and those donations directly go to support my family during this time. Uh, they support, go to support my channel and my work here, just like our Patreon, just like all donations and super chats and stuff we've had in the past. But this time around, there's an actual goal around it. Um, I just have like this tentative $1,000 per month goal. I don't, you know, if we don't hit it, we don't hit it. It's not the end of the world. If we, if I don't get any donations, it's not the end of the world. It's not like I'm going to fall off the face of the planet and no longer be here if we don't get any donations. I, I, I try to make this clear every single time there's any sort of donation drive, I guess you call it, uh, that I don't need your money to survive. That is not what this is. What this is, is you guys have the ability if you would like to make things just easier on me. So I don't have to push myself so hard at a time when I am not supposed to, if I'm being honest. Uh, yes, my fiance is going back to work. She has a job interview today and uh, with a you know, knock on wood, she'll be getting that job. That's really going to help. Uh, and it's the perfect hours that, you know, that we want to solve our family time and for her and me to have time together and for her not to get worn out. Uh, and yes, I am still going to be doing side jobs as well. Uh, I just won't be doing manual labor ones. I'm working on some, some data entry and transcription types of jobs that I can just do on the side. Uh, so I'm still going to be working besides YouTube, but, um, I bring all this stuff up because people always get mad at me, uh, mad at anyone really when they even mention, Hey, you can donate money and help out if you want. You don't have to, there's no pressure. Uh, but it does help a lot. That thousand dollar bill goal is just like a generalization. We have more than a thousand dollars worth of bills every single month. Um, but if we can hit that, that would just make things easier, enable me to make more content for you. So it's kind of like any other goal I've ever done. Yeah, the money uh, helps and it's nice and it's good. And if you want to help out, you know, during this hard time for me financially and health wise, that's great. But ultimately, what you're doing is you're just enabling me to make more content for you. Because you guys are going to be able to afford me less, the less time I have to work on these odd jobs on the side, the more time I have to work on YouTube for you guys. So uh, that's just the way it is. Um, go ahead and be critical of me down in the down in the comments. Uh, there has been uh, in my last stream, there's been a lot of negative comments after it, and uh, after you guys, it's set to unlisted right now. So I don't know how many of you guys could see it, but. Um, to all of my detractors and people are going to go out and yell e-bagging, all I'm going to say is I just don't care. I have literally almost died three times in the last five weeks. I'm at a point now where I am done giving a crap what random people on the internet have negative to say about me. Uh, it is not something that honestly matters anymore. Uh, there used to be a time when I would care uh, about the negative stuff said about me, but on, I built this audience. All of you guys watching right now um, are here because of me. 
And uh, if you would like to see me continue to do this, continue to do this as long as I can, you can help support, help support me through this hard financial time, hard health times, help support my family, donation links. Uh, if not, then oh well. What, what, what am I going to do about it, right? It's it, it's one of those situations where I don't want to be here. I don't want to be in this position where I'm letting people know that, hey, if you want to help, you can. I, I would rather never have to tell re- tell anyone about donations. And if they donate, they do it on their own. And it's not because I told them that it would be nice if I had some donations. But I just want to throw it out there. And I'm just doing this right now. I don't care. I could be dead tomorrow. I could be dead next week. I don't know when my day is coming. I might not even make it to my own wedding date. The bottom line is I am done giving a crap about what the negative side of the internet has to say. I built this audience. I will do with this audience what I please. And if my audience, you guys watching, don't agree with it, it's okay. You can unsubscribe. You can go to other channels. You can start up your own channel, build your own audience and run it however you want. Um, I I don't really care. Uh, That's the beauty of the internet. That's the beauty of YouTube. You can do what you want, stand on your own moral high ground. I almost died. I'm done um, worrying about it. So if you would like to help me, uh, you can. If you don't, there's no pressure. It's not the end of the world. Uh, So as for other updates uh, that aren't so negative, uh, I have lost a bunch of weight. I'm down 42 pounds uh, and counting. Hopefully uh, by the end of this week, I'll be down closer to 50 pounds. Um, one thing to get my health under control is to get my weight down, get my blood pressure under control. Uh, and the goal for that is basically to get back to what I weighed in high school. I kept telling myself that's impossible. That's impossible. That's impossible. Well, look at me now losing about 10 pounds a week. Yeah, that's going to slow down at some point. Uh, that just lets you know how overweight I was at my, at my peak, uh, during the first heart attack. I, uh, Weighed 270 pounds. So <clears throat> to, to see the scale say 228 uh, is is uh, this soon is just impressive to me. And if it, it says, if at any point this year it even says under 200 pounds, I am going to be ecstatic. Cause I'm working hard, big diet changes, um, more fruits and veggies than ever, very little. Um, well, I get protein from, from other things, you know, nuts and stuff, but I don't eat as much meat anymore. So if I do, it's usually a little bit of chicken or turkey, uh, but I, I really stay away from uh, the meats and, and, and all that stuff. Uh, a little bit of fish here and there too, because fish can be good for you. Um, I'm on a bunch of different medications, but all you really need to know uh, is that I am doing better now than I was five weeks ago, um, and I'm trying to get right back into this YouTube stuff. And uh I enjoy it. I do make a little money doing it, which is nice. And uh, it helps me get back to some semblance of normalcy and everything. Uh, and hey, I'm getting married. Uh, and to clear up any confusion, because someone brought this up uh, in the comments, none of your donations are paying for my honeymoon. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where the wires got crossed on that. I mentioned uh, in the stream that um, my tax return uh, would be how the honeymoon is paid for. And the reason I get a big tax return has nothing to do with YouTube. It has to do with the fact we have three kids, so you get three child tax credits, and those are a lot. I don't know if you guys know what it's like to have children, but you get a lot of money back in tax returns when you have children. And so we have three of them, so the idea was we would either use next year's tax return to pay for the honeymoon if our if our family doesn't pay for the wedding or, or if our family pays for the wedding or we would wait until the following year's tax return and use that to go on the honeymoon and use the upcoming tax return to pay for the wedding, right? So it's all about how much our families are willing to help out with the wedding. Now, you guys aren't paying for the honeymoon. I would never ask you guys to to pay for the honeymoon. I'd never ask you guys to raise money and buy me a switch. I would never ask you guys uh, to do that kind of stuff. Right now, the donations that I, that I am asking for are optional, and they're just there to help me out if you would like to. And if you don't, oh well, what am I going to do about it? Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robo Jensen from the Nintendo Prime. Hopefully, uh, this was informative for all you guys about what's going on. If you guys have any questions about any anything I talked about in this video, be sure to let me know down in the comments, and I will directly respond to as many people as I can. Um, I hope that this isn't um, drama because I, I need to de-stress a little bit, not really have drama. That's one reason I've been afraid to come back to YouTube is because it, there is stress associated with it. And I'm sure e-begging comments are coming, uh, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm just happy to be alive and happy to still be able to sit here in front of a camera talking to all of you. All right, folks, I'll catch you in the next video.